Ready? I'm ready, 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 ready to go. Four, open in front okay. of you. Four or three? <laughs> three. Quarter. Three. Cool. Are you ready? Are you ready, 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 ready? ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So, let's go ahead and... Dun, 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 dun. dun, dun three. Dun, dun. Two. One. Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. Hi, I'm Rena. And today we are playing and reviewing Renature by Capstone Games. Uh, if you're just interested in the review part of this, feel free to skip to the timestamps down below. It'll tell you where the thoughts and opinions and all that are. Or you can watch us play through this game first, or both. Both is good. Either way, let's go ahead and give you a quick overview of the game, and then I'll introduce you to concepts as they come up. Uh, Renature is going to be a game where we're trying to score points. That's what we're trying to do in this game. The way we're going to be doing that is we're going to have these various tom domino tiles in our hands that we're going to be placing down on the board from one of these four starting points and or connected to a previously placed domino, but you have to make sure you actually connect the various animal types. You'll see all those up here. They're also on the dominoes in our hands, and you're trying to connect a turtle to a turtle, a frog to a frog, although you do have the option of one animal being wild. In this case, the butterfly starts as wild. We have a way to change that. We'll cover that as we go through the game, but the butterfly is wild. Anything can go next to it, and it can go next to anything. The goal of the game is to get the most points, which is primarily going to be through area control. Every time we place down a domino next to, down to a field, we're going to take one of the plants, either our own color or neutral, and put it down to the field in order to, well, get points both immediately and at the end of the game. Cloud tokens are going to be used for a few abilities. That should give you enough of a general overview to start, and we'll teach you things as they come up. And I believe that I am going first. Uh, we have a giant stack of dominoes in front of us, 26 total. We do lose points at the end of the game for any plants we don't plant, so we do want to make sure we get those out. And I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my dominoes and place it down. Haven't given this too much thought, because why would I, I do like that? I don't like my dominoes either. That's right. <gasps> Can we mulligan? No, we cannot mulligan. Absolutely not. So, I'm going to hope, just keep in mind, sweetie, there's four different spots. That doesn't help me. It does, because it means we can place Oh, I like have twice. Mm -hmm, right. Exactly. So, let's go ahead and place one down. I'm going to go ahead and place this over here. And I'm going to go ahead and put down one of mine into that area. Whenever cool. you place in a tile, the basic turn sequence is you place down a tile, then you're going to go ahead and place down a plant, and then you potentially look to see if you score any areas. Cool. Um, as a recall question, I do have to start at one of the starting things, or can I just immediately leech onto you? You can leech onto me or start anything. Uh, it's one that to leech onto you. Mm, I don't love the sound of that. Mm, you mean? It's fine. Okay, so, oh, and I forgot, whenever you place down a, a tile, you get a point for that tile and anything smaller than it. I don't so know why I went so aggressively. Mm, I don't know why you went so aggressive either. Okay. Put down a little grass. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. It's a little grass. Just happy little accents. Something along those lines. Okay. I don't think that does. I've been watching too much of the Paul Ross, uh, Bob Ross. The Bob Ross doc. I've been watching not enough of the Paul Ross documentary on Netflix, watching apparently. Watching too much TV. Okay, we're going to go ahead and place this in a way like so. Put that down there. And again, placing down a little single one. Your turn, sweetie. Look at that. Why? Oh, that's right. Butterflies it's are wild. wild. Why would I have started a with a wild. butterfly over there when they're wild? Don't know. Okay. Don't know. This is a little bit of a higher point situation. Okay. So. You're going to get a point. Yes. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, do things. Definitely going to do things. I'm a big I fan of doing things. You're going to put down a domino. You are correct. You are surprisingly good at this. See, I'm going to place this down over here. Like that wasn't so. what you're supposed to do. Mm, that is what I'm supposed to do. No. Though. It's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Everything has been predicted to be exactly like that. Uh -huh. And we're going to go ahead and place down another one of mine. Just a little there. Not trying to invade in your territory. You can have your little territory. Okay. You have a lot of butterflies. You take a point. So, so far we haven't been competing at all. We are aggressively making our way down towards the higher I score know, areas. this is really, really quite fast for going straight down. Mm. Well, I'm going to continue that then. We're going to go ahead and continue going straight down. This Very is nice. the fastest straight down we've ever gone. Oh, yeah, I think so. We've gone, we've had games where we stayed up the top. We've had games where we moved to the bottom. This is the most aggressive move toward the bottom. And I'm going to put one down. And I'm still going to keep with these small little guys. I don't feel a need to be so aggressive. I'm very That's peaceful, nice. very calm. Your turn. Mm. And now suddenly things are escalating. Tensions are getting higher. The world is getting scarier. And you are honing in on my spot. Okay. Well then, if that's the way we're going to be about it. Aww then we're going to try to take a different strategy. And by different strategy, I just mean I'm going to go. 
<laughs> and we're going to go over here like so. And I'm going to go ahead and put down a neutral. Mm, you know what? I don't know if I want to just yet. Don't know if I want to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put down a neutral one over here and get one point. Your turn. I'm going to do something interesting. Okay. I'm going to do this. Okay. And then I'm going to pay two, three clouds. You can. And then I'm immediately going to go again. Okay, so basically let's talk about clouds. So clouds are going to be one of the things that are worth points in the game. We haven't fully talked about the various things that give you points, but that is an aggressive move that does work. But one of the things you can spend clouds on is you can spend three clouds to immediately go again, which she, well, did. Uh, you're going to go ahead and put that down. So your first turn, you didn't place anything down? Mm, I You will. could. I will. Okay. I'm going to do that. No. Okay, fine. <laughs> and then you're going to go again. So you're going to get one point for that and then three points for this. Yep. For a total of four points. So one and then three to 11. And, and then, then I will score that. You're going to score both the six points. Yep. And you're also going to get the bonus tile because you were the one who closed it off. Yep. Okay. I've well, never done that oh, before. That's so we should cool. probably explain this to people. What? So with this scoring tile over here, this four and two, the way this works is in any given area, you count up the strength of the plants and the plants are one, two, three, four. You add up if you have multiples. So for instance, if I had this over here, that would have been two, two, one, and two, and two. But then the catch there is that any even numbers, any time, like for instance, we have one and one, neutral and black. That means neither side is going to score for that one and one. And the two is going to be the only one considered present. And therefore they scored all the points for that bonus tile. I draw three tiles, right? Two tiles. You just grab, yeah, you draw up to two, yeah. Okay. And it's my turn. And I don't appreciate how that just happened. But I will still take my turn. Or I will still take my turn. I'm going to place this down over here, like so. Which means I'm going to be closing off that area. Nice. I am going to be placing this down over here, into that area. Which is nice. going to be, uh, basically, I'm now going to be the exact same reverse situation. Exactly. But I'm going to gather that. I get three points for this. Nice. One, two, three. I get four points for that, 12 to 16, and I get the bonus tile. And so we are neck and neck again. Your no, turn. No, no. I love how we were going like aggressively straight down, and we're like, let's take a little coffee break. It's called a side quest. It is called a side quest. Okay. Do you put that on a tile? I did. Give yourself a point. point. Okay. Well then, well then, I'm gonna go <laughs> ahead and go <laughs> over here, and then I'm gonna put this down. That right there, and then I'm gonna get three points. One, two, three. Your turn. Well. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well. <sighs> Hold. Hmm. Okay. Was that a notable big thing there? Because you seem like there's a notable big thing there. I felt like it belonged. The gravitas. The gravitas of the situation belonged. Okay. okay. Well, I don't have any of the tiles I particularly want to have. So I'm going to just pretend that I have other tiles. Does that work? Yep. Okay, good. Mm hmm. <laughs> we have this, this over here. <laughs> Place <laughs> where dun, 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 dun. Someone take me home. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. None of my pieces really work, so I'm going to go ahead and go here. Okay, we're going to go... The, actually, since that's, that's going to be that anyway, mm -hmm. maybe I'll aggressively go straight down and grab some clouds. Oh, interesting. That doesn't actually help me. Okay. Hmm. I could grab pieces back, so let's do that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Ready? Yep. You're I'm going to spend two clouds to reclaim a piece. So I'm going to spend oh, two clouds to reclaim level two piece. So I have that back. Then now that I spent two clouds, I'm going to go over here like so and put down a piece, just a little, tiny little level one over there and yes. get one point, but also because All I'm the first cloudies. one to there, I get the clouds. Nice. And so I had to spend the clouds because excess clouds, you just lose. If I don't have space for them, I can't use them. Nice. Your turn. Now you will lose pieces for everything on your board that you don't plant equal to its level. So you do want to plant everything in the game. Mm, you get two points. I do. Go ahead and move yourself to 21. Dun, 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 dun. Someone take me home. Okay. We are going to go. A hunting we shall go. A hunting we shall go. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. I'm going to go over here like so. 
Okay, so we're going to go over there, and then I'm going to place down a level three, one of, mm. I'm going to okay. place down a level three, one of these, and get three points, four points. So I'm going to go from 20 to 24. Your turn. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <sighs> exactly. I love the sigh. The sigh's like, well then, fine. And we're just about at the halfway mark of the game. We've got another, another turn or two before yes, the halfway yes, yes, yes. in. Give me a moment. That animal's there. That animal's there. And that one. one's there. And that one's there. Well, this is a problem. Exactly. Ooh, I like my tiles. You what now? I like my tiles. I'm so happy to hear that. Are you, though? You sound unhappy with my tile liking. Oh, wow. Okay, you get a point. Is that a side quest again? Yeah. All right. Extreme one. It might need a later. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and place this down over here, like so. Uh, at which point I'm going to actually... Hmm, that's annoying, that's annoying, that's annoying. Fine. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and place down over here. Just a tiny little one over there. And we're yes. going to grab a key point. Again. Then I'm going to spend three clouds and pull arena and go immediately again and place this down over here where it's going to allow me to close that off. So yes. I'll get that in a second. But first, let me go ahead and place something else down. And I will place down over here. Can I get three points? Con. One, two, uh, yeah, uh, does that three? Uh, you need right to here. 24, there we go. And it's then I'm going to score this over here. So I close off the arrow, so I'm going to get the tile. Yep. I have seven, which yep. means I'm going to get seven points, and then neutral, neutral gets, gets three. three. So if you can give me seven points. You can. 27 plus seven is 44, 34. Okay, and your turn. Mm -hmm. So if I go here, then I can get mm -hmm. my cloudy back. You can. Do I want to? You can get your cloudy back. I'm just going to go put my grass there. <laughs> you get one point? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We are aggressively pursuing diplomatic relations with this other place over here. With this other place over here. I'm going to go over here like so. And then I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to put this over here like so. Uh, that's going. There's no point doing that. You're just going to put another thing there. I will put down one of mine over there. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over there. I'm gonna get two points. Give me two points. Okay. Your turn. Dun, dun, dun. The butterfly has not changed all game. Well. Yeah, some games the the Joker because every, one of the things you can do with your clouds is you can spend two clouds to change the Joker animal, the animal that any tile can be placed next to, which I don't know if I actually explained earlier in this video or not. But whenever you have the butterfly, anything can go next to the butterfly. Mm -hmm. uh, if we didn't explain it, then four people are like, now we understand what's happening. <laughs> but it, basically, some games I've had it where the butterfly doesn't change at all the whole game, and other times it's changing like every fifth turn. Correct. You just went? I did. You put down the tile? Uh, I did. What did you put down? I put down neutral tile. I forgot to take a point. Okay. And then it's my turn. It's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and place this down like so. And I'm going to go ahead and take that tile down there. And I got a cloud. I like my cloud. I call this cloud. I call this cloud. <laughs> you call it a cloud? We all do, Brian. We all do. Hmm. You get a point? I do. Okay. Uh, and then, I think I'm going to pull that trick again. I'm going to go ahead and place this down over here. Okay. And I'm going to place another one down over here. And I call this cloud. I call this cloud. Cloud. And I get a point. Nice. Your turn. I have a debate where I'm placing my things. Mm, who's going to win the debate? That's a great question. I'm currently undecided. Oh, the places we can I know. go. The places we can go are so many. They're really not. Where are the places we can go? Put down the common no tiles in the stream. Who are the places we can go? Mm, you're like aggressively pursuing that area. You're gonna get one point? Mm, yes. Well, it just happens to be working out over there. 
Mm, I hear it. I hear that it's working out. So you know what I shall do? Nope. Destroy all your hopes and dreams. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I actually think it is probably worth destroying all your hopes and dreams. The question is, can I do so? Don't think I can. Not the way I'd want to. Okay. Destroying hopes and dreams is a serious business. Indeed. I take it seriously. It's very expensive. I could do that. It just seems very expensive to destroy your hopes and dreams, so I won't bother. Okay. Hopes and dreams are preserved for another day. Excellent. Maybe. Possibly. I guess. I can do that. That won't help me. Okay. Now that we decided and agreed and established that that won't help me, let's try to do other things that are more helpful. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and grab my turtle, and I'm going to take my turtle son, my turtle club, and go ahead and put that down over here. And now I will go ahead and place down... I'm going to place down... I'm going to place this down over here, actually, which is an interesting way to go. Now yeah. Let's go one, two, three, four, five points. Right. Yep. That was right. And that's your turn. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that'll pay off for me or not. It's an interesting strategy. I'm putting down a very large neutral in an area that I currently control. Indeed. Okay, you get two points. Yep. I still can't do the thing that I want to do, so it won't. I just won't, because I want to do the thing that I want to do, and I can't at this moment. No, I can't at this moment. But what I can do is show you my tiles. I could go over here, like so. And then I could place my own large number over here, getting, you know, I don't actually want to do that. Okay. I would like to put down a, hmm, I'm going to place this down over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take two points. Give me two points. Sure. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Once upon a time. Okay. One point for you. Mm -hmm. And then I will go ahead and I will place that could go there like mm -hmm. so. I guess that makes the most sense. I'm going to place this over here. And that's going to allow me to put down another one there. And this time around. I think I will aggressively, I'm being very aggressive with some of these I areas here. I'm going to aggressively put that down there for four points. Okay. I'm trying to get okay. the extra points for putting things down and getting for all the points below it. And then okay. your turn. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, you think you're funny. Partially so. My turn? Yes. Okay. So I think I will go ahead and pay two to clouds the... to change this to the squirrel. And then with the squirrel, now the squirrels are wild, I can just go ahead and do this like so. Ooh, squirrels are wild. Squirrels are wild. In fact, actually, I probably shouldn't place that down there because I probably should say that. I probably place this like that. Okay. And then I'm going to close that off. It's currently, I believe, tied, right? So all I need to do I think so. is place down one of these. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and place down one of my twos. I'm going to place my two, so I get two points, the small and the thing. That's going to be one, two. I also get eight points, and neutral gets four. That's going to be eight points for me, 50 to 58. And then I keep this tile as a bonus tile. Your turn, Mina. Mm -hmm. That is ridiculous. That what? Some, I just drew a, I'm going to tell you, I just drew a double bird right after I changed the wild. That's so sad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying. My turn? Mm -hmm. hmm. Cause a bird, 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 and a bird is the word. And a bird, 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 bird is the word. So the good news is I could do that. The bad news is I can't do anything else. Hmm. That could be interesting. Mm -hmm. No, it can't. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. But I could be annoying and do that. I think I will. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and place this double squirrel over here. Like so. Okay? That should work because it should be legal because okay. rules. Then, once I'm done placing the double squirrel like so, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and immediately place down in there this like so. And get one point. Give me one point. Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to give up these three. One, two, three. That was very rude of you. It is very rude of me. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and place this over here, which should now successfully close that off entirely. 
Um, and that's going to be, I'm going to put this down over here, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, plus the bonus tile for closing off. Very and you yeah. don't get anything. Give so me five weird. points oh, over here. I go for 59 to 65. That's not true. That's six points. 59 to 64. That is very rude of you. Your turn. Your turn. I'm going to go over here. And then I'm going to do nothing that interesting because I can't. Because I can't, 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 can't. I'll go ahead and go over here and take a point. Mm, I am right there. That's a fair yes. point. Your turn. Do not like any of the pieces for it today, Henry. Mm, it does work. It does. Okay. You get a point. Mm -hmm. And I will go somewhere. Definitely somewhere. I'm going to go over here, like so. And then I'm going to place one of these. Mm. Actually, it's worth a decent amount of bonus points to just double down this. I'm going to place this down over here. Because it's worth just a chunk of points. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 points for me. 15, 65 to 71. Your turn. Mm -hmm. You have much more. Oh, because I went twice. That's right. Is that what? Much more The way it works is, well, you're going to, once I'm out of tiles, because I, I took two double turns. And once I'm out of tiles, it's going to, basically, you're going you're gonna to have extra turns. Yes. I'm just, I'm just saying. Go ahead. You put it out. Yep. You put out a tile? Oh, a plant? Yeah. You don't have to, but... Oh, wait, yes, I want to. That's, That's going to be three points for that. Yes. Two more. Okay. And then what can I do with the situation on the board? It's not all that much because these things are getting a little stifled down here. Can't do there, can't do there, can't do there. I could do there, but I don't see the main benefit of doing it. Can't go there, can't go there. Could go there, but don't see the main benefit of doing so. That one's actually kind of suspiciously empty. Let's go there. Okay. Can't go there. Okay. <laughs> really? Wow. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and go over here, and I'm going to place this tile down here and score a point. Here Your turn. This was perfect. Beautiful. Yes. Okay. I always put this one. You don't, you don't have, you have extra tiles. You mean you, you have four tiles left and three That's turns. That's right. Okay, so... so. I score all of the points. Yes, you do. And you get the tiles. This means nine points for you. Yep. Uh, need your math, please. What are you up to? 36, 45. Okay. My turn? Yep. Well, then, if it's going to be my turn, then I probably should do something that gives me points, right? That seems logical. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and go over here and place... You have those. Okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and place this over here and then get a point. Your turn. I am going to pay two clouds mm -hmm. and change wild to the bat. The bat. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Mm, nice. So you're going to score those bonus points and you're also going to score all the other points so you get nine points. Yep. Also, are you putting anything down? Um, yeah, I have to at this point. You don't have to yet. You have one more turn to, avoid, to not do so if you want. That seems like a reasonable thing to do. So you get two points for that, plus nine more, so you can go 47 to 56. Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Well, that just changed everything. Everything I say. Everything, all everything. Said, all the things you said, running through my head, running through my head. Everything, everything. I'm going to go ahead and place this down over here. And I'm going to place this down over here, getting three points. One, two, three. Your turn. <clears throat> Wait, what? Other way around. Rotate it. Oh, yes. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. So then you have bats next to bats. Yes, 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 yes. All right, you're going to get three points over there immediately. Yep. You're going to get the tile because you closed it off. And you're going to get four points for 
So you get so seven. 56 to 59, right? Yep. And then another four, so 59 to 63. And then I have no more things left to do, but I could put down a tile, which I may as well, because I don't have a good reason not to. Denying you points is potentially the best thing I can do, but not that I see any great options, but I'll stop you from taking the bat over there, I guess. And now it's your turn. Is there I could have closed off with that? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Your turn. And I have to figure out where my pieces are going. Yes, you have two turns in a row now. Yep. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Mm -hmm. Right. Can I get this one with some more right over here? Nope. Okay. Sorry, it's going to take a moment to figure out where these are all both going. This one can go up here. You okay. You're just going to be a nice. What are you. What? You're denying neutral points. Fine. Yeah, it works. And, okay, cool. That's it. Yep. That's the round. Indeed. So we're going to go ahead and score the remaining areas. That's true. So for the remaining areas, what we're going to do is no one gets bonus points for, bonus points for closing off an area, but we are still going to score everything. So let's go through these one at a time. Down here, I get three points for that because I have the high and low. So I'm going to go up one, two, three. Over here, I believe I get 13 and neutral gets six. But again, no one gets I should take these off the side. Uh, so it's going to be 13 points for myself, 79 to 82 to 92. Then over here, I get two. I get three points for this one because I'm the only one there. So I'm going to be 92 to 95. Then over here, no one gets this one because it's neutral. Over here, no one gets this one because it's tied. Over here, no one gets this one because it's tied. Yep. No one gets this one because it's tied. You get this one for two points over there. So you get uh, three points over there. One, two, three. Um, I get this point one for three points over there. One, two, three. Uh, this one I get for three points, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you reveal your bonus tiles, the back of them, and add up the scores. I have a total of 14. So I go up 15 points. I we'll have to nine. go to 15. I have nine. You have nine, okay. Can't do math. What are we up to? 67. 67, so 67 to 76. Um, that sounds right. And yeah. then you have one point for your bonus thingy. Indeed. And that's the game. That is the game. Cool. Intense. If you skipped here from the timestamps to the review part of the video, mm -hmm. let's go through it. So, what do you like about this game? It's pretty. It's pretty. Anything I can't else? kill any plants. You can't kill any plants. <laughs> this is really, I mean, I guess it is a plant-based game. You are growing. It's very much a putting you down wildlife. You are literally putting down trees and grass. Yeah. Anything past the not I literally plants? couldn't even grow grass this summer. I tried and it didn't even work. Did you actually try growing grass? I did. Okay. For context, if you don't know, uh, Rena is very good at a lot of things. House plants is not one of them. Any plants are Outside plants is better. I tried growing grass. Well, the I grass failed. may have failed, but you have a little garden in the back. I do. Anyways, um, anything past that? Past that? Um, I like dominoes. I enjoy the aspect mm -hmm. of the dominoes. I really enjoy the fact that I can switch the wilds up. Okay. That's very helpful. It also just gets you out of a tight spot when you have like no tiles that are working for you at all. Yeah, so the, the abilities, the option to spend your clouds, you can get a few clouds in-game. I kind of wish there was more in-game generation of clouds, because as it stands, you kind of start with like six clouds, and with the handful of clouds you get in the game, your goal is to spend as many clouds as possible to try to utilize the abilities at your, at your disposal, which are reclaiming various plants, which I think we did one time, to alternatively to take another turn, and or to switch to the We did a wild. lot this time. In terms of what? The board? Uh, going again. Uh, yeah, we, that, that's true. We're going again is something that in some games we haven't done as At much. At all, right. In this game we did it quite a bit. Yeah, because it's very key on getting those closing off those bonus tiles. You're closing off areas to try to get, like, especially down here. If you get that, did anyone get the 13? No. I mean, the bonus points for the 13 is basically uh, three points. That's disheartening. It's it is disheartening. That's why I didn't bother going for yeah. it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, the bonus points, and there are two 13s. One of them is in the box, so I, maybe the other one's high. I don't it's remember. Not. What? It's not. Either way, uh, the, the bonus points are useful, but spending three clouds to get the bonus points is basically giving up three points to get three points, which isn't necessarily worth it. No. Uh, for myself, I, I the tie, the polyhomino placement is actually my least favorite part of the game. I kind of feel that for the most part you're scripted into a large degree of luck in that sense of okay. you have what you have, you go where you're going to go, you have a few resources at your disposal to mix up and change how that plays out, but for myself, the biggest puzzle and enjoyment is the little bit of screwage that as you place things down, you're not just trying to get points or deny your opponent, well, you're 
you're not trying to get points, you're trying to deny your opponent's points. Placing down neutrals in ways that will basically net them out to zero while giving yourself chunks of points, that can be where a big part of the game is. A big part of the strategy is in using the neutrals to be mean to opponents, or using your own tiles to be mean to opponents. That's uh, the, the tightness that I'll get from the game. The rest of it, the core aspect of placement, the core polyomino, isn't as much rewarding for me. It's it's a new way of utilizing po uh, poly dominoes in a, in a game system, in a modern game design. We've seen it with King Domino to a degree. We're seeing it over here. But for myself, it mostly forces me into, you have the tiles that you have, and you make the best with what you have. Uh, again, a few abilities switch it up, but not a lot, which means the core mechanic of the game is placing based on where you're able to place, and then trying to take advantage of manipulating the board state with that screwage and the, the placement of the plants, and then placing down a plant to get extra bonus points. You can get large chunks, like something I did down here very effectively, is you can get large chunks of bonus points by having a bunch of smaller tiles, and then putting a smaller plants, and then putting down larger plants to score four, five, six points multiple times in the game. Uh, anything you don't like of the game? I kind of bundled my liked and didn't like together. On the same aspect of like when we both started, mm -hmm. we're like we don't like our hand then. Yes. That was very, very, very annoying because it's just yeah. you're stuck with whatever you have and there isn't anything else that you can do about it. Um besides that, like it's just very pretty. And I like dominoes. It's very relaxing. It's very relaxing. Not stressful. It, it is. It, it's very much falls into the category of a tile placement game. It's uh, relaxing in the sense that you place a tile, do a thing, place a tile, do a thing. It, it is a weird hybrid because it it does kind of combine cutthroat strategy with light tile placement Ooh, look, it's a sunflower. yeah which is not that different just different than carcassonne when you think about it carcassonne is also kind of like light little placement combined with cutthroat i'm going to take that castle back from you i'm kind of just meshing into a carcassonne the there the fields all that but that's basically it any any other thoughts ratings oh well yeah ratings ratings i would say three yeah i'm with right there for me it's also a three for context that's a three out of five not a three out of ten our rating scale you can check it out down below but a three is a solid game good game not something that i'm like you know amazed by or really really intrigued by but an enjoyable experience this is like our fourth or fifth play already and yeah. so it's it's fun it's easy to dive into and relaxing and to the point and that's basically it. This is going to be, once again, We Nature by Capstone Games. And I'm Alex Ratcliffe from Boy & Co. And I'm Rena. And have a good one. Is there a weird echo here all of a sudden? No, but I feel like something was calling on me the last, like, five minutes. And you should be very proud of me that I did that's not react. Weird. I think we both, like, have some sort of virus. Because the last, like, 30 seconds, I kept on hearing, like, an echo. Echo! Echo? Echo? Now it's gone. So I have an echo and you have something crawling on you. We should probably see a doctor. The oil. Yeah. It's the oil. <laughs> Is there oil? Oh my gosh, check out this oil.